Well, when it comes to this particular winter, there certainly has not been a shortage of cold, wind, snow, all of those things. No, but what they store in these buildings is becoming in rather short supply because there's another round with the shovels and the snow throwers and the plows today. And for those who have to keep the roadways clear, they are, may now be the beginning of a cause for concern. One of the weapons against winter is to pepper the roads, if you will, with salt. Fox 11's Eric Peterson's out on our ice deck right now. And uh, is that uh, salt becoming scarce? Well, I'm not sure at this point, Tom, but it, uh, the road crews who were out today were certainly using a lot of it to help keep the roads clear in this winter that never seems to end. Those in charge of clearing those roads say they're watching their inventories closer than ever. This is the emptiest it has been in probably about five years. Brown County Operations Manager Bob Bosley is talking about salt in his emergency reserve barn. Three other bins are empty or close to it. We've gone through probably close to uh, 25,000 ton of salt this year. We probably went through about uh, 12 to 16,000 ton last year. Um, so we're, we're significantly over that last year's budget. But and we've had a quite a bit more winter this year than we did last year. It's a similar story at the Green Bay City Salt Barn. 2,000 tons is, is a decent amount I mean, uh, of salt. Operations Director Chris Pierlot says each truck holds seven tons of salt. Crews spread brine, beet juice, and calcium chloride to help stretch the salt supply. If we do need more salt, we've, we've been looking at contingency plans probably for the last two months. We've checked around with other communities, and, and there's a couple resources that if we do need some more salt, they have said they have a little bit extra, so we can, um, uh, so we can uh, work a deal with them if we need some extra salt. Brown County expects a 4,000 ton shipment from Superior later this week. I'm a little concerned, but not overly concerned. I'm not losing sleep over it uh, because uh, Morton is under contract to get us the salt that we have uh, pre-purchased, uh, our seasonal fill and our vendor reserve. So it's up to them to, uh, to get the salt to us. Meanwhile, crews continue to use what they have. As long as we have salt, we'll use it. Um, and right now I have enough on hand for a couple more storms and hope for warmer weather. Even though it's March, you know, we've last year we had some snowfalls in April, so we still have a ways to go for winter. Now we also contacted the Outagamie County Highway Department. They say supplies are tight, but they should make it through the winter. Now the state has asked that department to conserve what they use because any additional salt will be very hard to come by.